let's get into the actual vault. Hey guys, it's Patrick Starr. I present to you my dream closet. But you guys can come on in. If you're an OG YouTube fan, you can probably remember the days when your favorite YouTubers were actually relatable and filmed their videos from their completely normal bedrooms, which looked a lot like our own. But those days are long gone. So we're about to take you inside the most mind-blowing part of these YouTubers' insanely impressive homes, their closets. These closets have everything from crystal chandeliers to floor-to-ceiling shelves of Louboutins to walls of Birkin bags and even a bulletproof steel lock door. Yeah, don't worry, we'll get to that. And no, I'm not jealous at all. Don't worry about me, I'll, I'll be fine. I'm fine, I promise. I said I'm fine. But anyway, we're here to give you a look inside some of your favorite YouTubers closets. So let's count down the nine best YouTube closet tours right here on Misted. All right, let's start with number nine. Ariana Grande lookalike Gabby DiMartino. Ready? This is the newest of her many closet tours in the past and in this one, she finally got her custom built closet with sky high ceilings, wood floors, a gorgeous chandelier and a center island. Okay, we see you Gabby. Ariana who? We would take this closet any day. And when she revealed her new closet to her friends, they said it best. It's basically like an actual clothing store. So how do you guys like my closet? Uh, it's yeah, I'm it reminds you of a like, store. Like yeah. The whole closet embodies Gabby's personality and is a great place to shoot some of her fancy vlogs. Looks like her YouTube videos are bringing in some decent money because at only 24 years old, she's already got a closet nicer than my entire apartment and you know what, I am not okay with that. Alright, next up on our countdown at number 8 is Huda Beauty's Dream Closet. It was the first room done in her new house because, well, duh, girls gotta live. And it is filled to the brim, literally, with dreamy purses, sunglasses, shoes, sunglasses, clothes. Oh, and did I mention sunglasses? I'm definitely a sunglass person. Like, yes. And I actually have these in orange as well, and I just think these are so dope. I'm a collector. In fact, I might be a little bit of a hoarder. At least she's being honest, because Lord knows there's no one that needs this many pairs of sunglasses. I'm a huge fan of crazy shades. I just love things that like scream, creative, like somebody who was making these was literally like an insane person. But the shades aren't all you guys. She's got a crazy collection of Judith Lieber bags, which usually start at around $1,000 for the small ones. So I'm sure you can only imagine what this table of them costs. Judith Lieber makes them like bomb, really cute, really artistic. I feel like these are like jewels. And I'm actually starting to think that this huge closet may not even be big enough for Huda. Her shoes are literally overflowing off the shelves. Live your best life, girl. The more shoes, the merrier. Next up, coming in at number seven is Patrick Starr, who might have come in at first if we were just ranking on color coordination and organization, you guys, because damn, this closet is slick. The color scheme he went for was black and white and I honestly think he executed it perfectly. While Patrick's closet may not be the biggest of the YouTuber closets, it's definitely got some of the most unique pieces. In particular, his custom pieces of clothing like this bodysuit, which is my personal favorite. For example, my lens and rhinestone outfit. Can you get into this? I feel like um, people on Instagram really couldn't see the details. She is so fierce. Literally only Patrick could rock that piece. But that's not all you guys. There is certainly more unique articles of clothing where that came from. So looks, I call this my horse saddle. <laughs> it legit looks like a horse saddle for like, some caballo or something, but this is literally so fun. It's kind of like a breast harness. That okay, that is certainly something most people don't have in their closet, but Patrick, you do you boo and live your life. But no joke, I would totally love to borrow it sometime. So I'll just be over here jealous of your color-coded organized shelves and perfume filled drawers. Speaking of color coding, that leads me to the next YouTuber on our list, Laura Lee, whose color-coded closet lands in at number six on our list. Shirts, and they are in color-coded order, as well as in material, which makes it wildly easy to pick out what you're gonna wear. Okay, so I was wrong. Not only are her clothes color-coded, but they are organized by material too. Her shoes are color-coded too, with an entire black and an entire nude section. Laura Lee's closet is literally perfect and dreamy, yet she says she's probably going to end up redoing it again which I will never understand because if I had this closet with this chandelier, I probably would never leave this room. Also, can we talk about her designer handbags for just one second? Because honestly, this looks like the handbag section at Neiman Marcus. 
Damn, girl. But even closets as perfect as Laura Lee's aren't totally original. She got some inspo from Jaclyn Hill, who don't worry you guys, we'll be getting to her closet later on this list. Right here, I totally got this from Jaclyn Hill. She got these off Amazon. These are like two or three dollars and these are a lifesaver. See, even YouTubers watch each other's closet tours. Maybe one day when I can afford a closet like Laura Lee's, I'll come back to this closet tour for some inspiration. <sighs> a girl can dream. All right, next up on our list is Tati Westbrook at number five. You've definitely heard of Tati from her giant scandal with James Charles, but I've forgotten all about that scandal after seeing Tati's makeup closet. Yes, you heard that right. She has an entire closet dedicated to her makeup. I can hardly find a drawer for my makeup in my bathroom, so an entire closet for your makeup is literally a dream come true. I would really love for it to be just a clearer space. I have some really pretty, look how pretty this is. Ah, oh, that vanity is goals. I don't care if I have to put it in my garage. One day I will have a vanity just like that. I'm just gonna be over here manifesting. Okay, back to Tati's makeup closet. Her drawers are full of every makeup product you have ever wanted. So we have drawers of random makeup. And she's got enough lipstick for an entire lifetime. Lipstick, lipstick, more lipstick. Oh my god, can you believe it? More lipstick. Like honestly, you'd think this woman has like 20 pairs of lips with that much lipstick. But that's not all you guys, she's got drawers of makeup she never even uses. Like, hello, I'm over here, open to donations. And I really only wear like the same five ones. I should use this more now. And there's something so oddly satisfying about this lineup of Marc Jacobs palettes. So I think that about sums up Tati's makeup closet. I can only imagine how nice her clothing closet is too. I don't know, maybe we'll get that in the next tour. All right, coming in at number four on our list of best YouTuber closets is Filipina actress, TV host, and YouTuber, Heart Evangelista. Her YouTube channel is called Love Marie Escudero and her closet tour may be the most unique one on this list. Welcome to my walk-in closet. Sorry, I think I need some water. Uh, seeing this closet has made me weak at the knees. I mean, are you serious? Hart even has a stairway up to her private custom closet with pink stairs she saw at the Gucci store once and had to have, you know, as one does when you're a famous YouTuber. And the impressive designer clothing in this closet is worth more than most of us will make in a lifetime. Louboutins, they're a little pricey, but I mean, you can wear it all the time to the grocery, why not? If that wasn't enough to make you wanna cry, she also has clothes for her clothes. I kid you not, she has a jacket for her designer purse. It's just like a jacket, so you can just put it like that. So if it's raining, are you raining? Yes, I'm just kidding. That bag will be more protected than I will be on a rainy day. Next on our list is someone who is not your average YouTuber, but she is literally only known for her closet. At number three, we have Houston socialite and YouTuber, Teresa Roma, who you might recognize from being all over the news for having a 3,000 square foot closet. And if you haven't heard of her yet, well, she's got some news for you. If you haven't heard of me yet, you're going to hear it from, you know, truly 2019, Teresa Roma is gonna become a household name. And in case you can't visualize what 3,000 square feet looks like, this video will probably help. And just an FYI, 3,000 square feet is bigger than most family homes. And this is just her closet. And she's got an actual champagne bar in her closet. Because I guess you need things to fill this giant space. And you know, you never know when you're gonna get thirsty, I guess. Yep, champagne, always have chilled champagne on hand. So we can always break open some champagne and drink some champagne up here. But I don't think that's really a problem for Teresa because she has more designer clothes, bags and shoes in her three story closet than most department stores do. She has over 300 pairs of shoes, 150 handbags and over 100 pieces of designer jewelry. So if you hadn't heard of this Houston socialite, you'll certainly never be able to forget her after this closet tour. Coming in at number two on our list is one of my personal favorites, Jaclyn Hill's closet. And I know Jaclyn is successful despite all the speed bumps she hit earlier this year with her makeup line, but I didn't know how much money she had until I saw her closet tour. And the most impressive part of Jaclyn's perfect closet is her shoe collection. She literally has every pair of shoes I've ever dreamed of owning and more Louboutins than I'd even know what to do with. Okay, well maybe I'll figure out what to do with them. But her favorite pair of shoes she owns are about as extra as this whole closet is. Because I feel like these are the coolest pair of shoes I have in my closet. And just an FYI, those shoes cost around $6,000. If you can even get your hands on them, they're sold out basically everywhere. So I just, you know what? 
I feel like I deserved it, so I did it. And like some other YouTubers, Jacqueline's closet is also color coordinated. This entire section from here on out of my closet is, is just all of my blacks. I think I need to go home tonight and at least color code my closet. I mean, that may make me feel a little bit better about my life after watching these. You know, to have something in common with these YouTubers. And like Huda, Jacqueline also has a very impressive sunglasses collection. Honestly, I don't think she'll ever have to wear the same pair twice. But that still didn't cut it to make her number one on our list. The number one YouTuber closet goes to the person who had the most iconic closet of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, please. <laughs> you guessed it, Jeffree Star's Pink Vault. There is honestly no closet in the world that could top this one, not even a 3,000 square foot one. Don't at me, Teresa fans. And Jeffrey's closet is under more than just a lock and key. Now this is 10,000 pounds of bulletproof stainless steel. Of course, it's locked at all times. But thankfully, he gave us the epic tour on his YouTube channel. And Jeffrey and I have the same favorite part of his closet. My favorite part of the vault, the Hermes Birkenwall. And just so you know, these bags can be up to $300,000 a piece. I know for sure this one is. I don't even know where to start, you guys. There are so many insane pieces here. I think what I'm gonna gravitate to is the Himalayans. But it's not just bags, the shoes are also to die for. His collection of shoes and bags make all the other closets look, well, kind of like mine. And if you want a piece from Jeffrey's closet and you happen to be super rich, well, then you're in luck because he's selling his diamond liquid lipstick for... $23,000. $23,000. I'll take 10. Just kidding, obviously. Man, there you have it. That is our list of the nine best YouTuber closet tours. I have so much FOMO right now. But I want to know what you think. Who would be your number one from this list? And also, are there any other closet tours you love that you want to see in a video like this? Meanwhile, I'm still over here trying to figure out how on earth these YouTubers have more closet space than I have in my entire home. I know, it's very sad. Let me know all your thoughts and how this video makes you feel in the comments section below. Also, while you're there and maybe still picking up your jaw off the ground like, you know, I kind of was a little while back, why don't you hit that subscribe button because, hey, we might not have dream closets like these guys, but we can still have each other if you join our clever fam. Also, hit the bell, and that way you'll get notified every single time we post. And while you're there, you can catch up on all the latest entertainment news right here. And why not give this video a big old thumbs up? Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I'm Susan Morad, and I'll catch you later. Bye.